How is everyone doing? And welcome to the Stat Room. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Vaughn the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter at Vaughn the Stat Man. And guys, check out my website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. Now, you might want to go on my website a few times a week because I might be giving out a few hidden gems that can help you to win your DFS contest each week and also help you dominate your fantasy leagues. So y'all ready? Welcome back, everyone. And thanks for following me on our DFS journey. So guys, I'm going to get right into this 14-game slate. So on these 14 game slate, guys, remember, we don't want to play a lot of the unlimited entry GPPs because, like I tell you in most of my videos, each team is going to play between seven and nine players. So let's say nine. That means you have 18 players per game. On a 10 game slate, that's 180 players. You got to get all nine right. You can't miss on one player. If you pick somebody at four or five, that costs four thousand five hundred dollars. He has to get thirty. If you pick somebody at ten thousand, he has to get fifty-five to sixty. If you pick somebody at eleven, he got to get seventy. To win a, an, an unlimited entry GPP, guys, let me just explain to you how it works. Tonight on this slate, they're gonna be three guys that's gonna put up sixty-five or better. They're gonna be eight guys that's gonna do fifty or better. They all won't be. Nine thousand and ten thousand dollar players. You're gonna have somebody at six five or seven five that's gonna get 45 50 points. You have to get that player correct. There's gonna be a player that's four thousand dollars that's gonna get 35 at least three. You have to get those players correct. So, guys, today we want to play more strategy, play single entry games that you create. You can play GPPs if it's 500 players or less you want to stick in that category all right guys so today i'm gonna to break down the point guard position because i believe that's the most important position on tonight's slate love Doncic tonight against houston i can see this is a game where Doncic is in that 65 to 70 point range shea gildress is also in that i would say 55 to like i think his floor tonight is 45 i would say his ceiling is probably 60 morant i would say probably in that 51 to 55 range is his ceiling tonight. Young ceiling tonight will be about 53. Van Vliet ceiling tonight is about 55. Halliburton's a game time decision. Harden's ceiling tonight is about 55. Lillard against Denver ceiling will be, I say, about 48. Mitchell, I would say 44. Ball in LA where he's going to want to show out because I believe he absolutely wants to play there one day. I would say he can get 50 tonight. Irving, I would say 42. McCullum, I would say 42. Holiday, I would say 47. Murray, I would say 35. Fox, I would say 42. Westbrook's a game time decision. Paul, I would say 35. Porter, I would say 40. Garland, I would say 40. Maxi is out. Rose is a game time decision. Brunson, I would say 38. Giddy, I would say 35. Russell, I would say 35. Green, I would say 40. Mary, I would say 38. Simmons, I would say 35. Dinwiddie, I would say 30. Smart, I would say 40. Lowry, I would say 31. When I'm giving these numbers, guys, this is what I think that their ceiling is today. Melton, I would say 35. Fultz, I would say 40. Jones, I would say 32. Simons, I would say 30. Brogdon, I would say 34. Walls, a game time decision. Hayes, I would say 30. Suggs is out. Smith is a game time decision. Schroeder, I would say 32. Morris, I would say 24. Anthony, I would say 22. Jones, I would say 22. Oluwa Depot, today, I would say 30. Payne is out. Beverly, I would say 15. Jackson, I would say 20. Rivers, I would say 30. Rivers been balling, guys. If you look at his last four games, he's been he's been money for this team. Put up 34, 27, 20, 37. So I would say he can get 30 today, especially if the game, because he's probably going to start. So if he starts, yeah, I'd like him to get 30 against Boston. Um, Milton, I would say 20. Quickly, I would say 22. 
Highland, I would say 20. White? I'm really high on White today, guys. I, I think White sneaky. I think he's going to be a sneaky play. I think this is one of them 22 to 30 point games for White. I think his floor today is going to be 20. I think he's going to surprise some people. Nimhart, I would say 24. Kimball Walker has already been ruled out. Goodwin, I like him better on his second night of a back-to-back. -back. And if you look at what he did against Utah, not too shabby. 24 for a guy under five. If he gets you 25 or better, you would be pretty happy with that. Burks, if Burks got consistent minutes, but look, he gets 11, 17, 20, he's all over the place. If he got you 24 consistent minutes, you can mark him down for 25 to 30 pretty much every night. But you don't know if he's going to get 11 minutes or 21 minutes. And on a big GPP, today you got to go with safe gambles. So you gamble on somebody to get consistent minutes, but you don't gamble on somebody who you don't know. Alvarado, don't really like him. Noel, don't really like him. Caruso has already been ruled out. You got Carter, don't like him. Wright has already been ruled out. Joseph, don't like him. Vincent's a game time decision. And you got Desame, don't really like him. I do like McConnell. Man, hot and cold with man. Sumner, he did have a pretty decent game. He had 18 points. He had 26 minutes. Should have got more points going up against a horrible Golden State defense. So this is going to be a tougher game against Milwaukee. So Sumner probably will not even see the floor. Flynn um, has been playing solid minutes, but he's helped a scouter because they got four guys that can score on this team. So they don't really need Flynn to score. Mitchell don't like him. So, guys, that's pretty much it. So, you want to win your fantasy? Start these players. Made it this far? Hit that like button. Hit that share button. And subscribe to my channel. You want to win your fantasy? You better start shooting guard Levine. You want to know why? Well, he's on 40-point watch. And he's going to get you 30 real points. So, if you want to win your fantasy, start shooting guard Levine. You want to win your fantasy? You better start shooting guard slash point guard green. You want to know why? Well, he's on 35 point watch and he's just a pure scorer and he's at home where he flourishes. So if you want to win your fantasy, start green. You want to win your fantasy? You better start small forward Harris. You want to know why? Well, he's on 40 point watch and he does extremely well against this Clipper team. So if you want to win your fantasy, start Harris. You want to win your fantasy? You better start power forward eligible, center eligible Sabonis. You want to know why? Well, he's on 50 point watch and he's on double, double watch. So if you want to win your fantasy, you better start it's a bonus. You want to win your fantasy? You better start center Lopez. Want to know why? Well, he's on double, double watch. And he's on two block watch. And he's on 35 point watch. So if you want to win your fantasy, you better start center Lopez. My word for today is stand. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's society, people don't stand on things anymore. They don't stand on their word anymore. They say things and they wait to hear whatever backlash is coming from the public and then they apologize. Me, I choose my words carefully, so I don't apologize. If I say something, if it offends you, I don't care. Because most of the times, if I give an opinion, you asked for it. Don't ask me for my opinion and can't handle the answer. Or if I believe in something strongly, I will stand on it until I die. I don't apologize because people are soft and sensitive. So ladies and gentlemen, today's society, stand on something. Because if you don't stand on something, you'll fall for anything. Love you guys.